In this video, we are going to create iOS provisioning profiles. And uh, we are going to create one for development and one for distribution purposes. And because iOS provision profiles is the last step that you need to do in order uh, to be able to install your app on iOS device uh, and distribute it uh, to your uh, testers for testing purposes, you'll need to have um, development certificates and production certificates created. You'll need to have, of course, your app ID created and uh, you'll need to have a list of devices added that you want your mobile application to be tested with. Okay, and the last step is uh, creating iOS provisioning profiles. Uh, we will uh, add, click on Add button and um, the very first one we'll create uh, for uh, development purposes, iOS app development. So I'll select this one and click on uh, Continue. I'll need to select uh, App ID the application I'm creating this provisioning profile for and then uh, click on continue and I'll need to select my certificate uh, that I want this um, provisioning profile to be signed with okay and I click on continue next I'll uh, select a list of devices that I will be testing this application with and I click on continue and now I'll need to give my uh, provision profile a name because this provision profile is for a development purposes. So I'll call it uh, my um, photo app development pro profile. Okay. And I'll click on generate. Generate. Okay. Provision profile is done i can download this provision profile or i can click uh, simply click on done button to complete the process okay the provision profile for ios development is uh, ready i will go and create a couple for distribution purposes so i will switch to distribution tab and i'll click on add button and now i will uh, select the one i want for the app store and this provision profile uh, will need to be added uh, when you're ready to submit your app or you can add it right away. Let's do it right away. Uh, so I will select the app ID and click on continue. Select the iOS distribution certificate this time. Click on continue and I'll give it the name my photo app. Um, let's say app. app store uh, profile okay so this is uh, app store profile and we'll click on generate and provision profile is ready i will click on done button and i have to uh, ready okay i'll go ahead and create one more provision profile and this one is also going to be for distribution purposes so i'll need to have distribution tab turned on and click on add and I'm going to create this one for ad hoc purposes. Well, oh, ad hoc is when uh, I want to distribute my mobile application with uh, other um, my friends and family or testers um, that will not be downloading mobile app from the app store, for example, but I, I may choose to distribute this mobile app for my testers through my website or send them it over email. So I'll select ad hoc and I click on continue, select my app ID, continue. That's going to be distribution certificate I'll need to use. Continue, select list of devices. And in this uh, case, there's a limit there. there there's uh, a limit of 100 devices. And uh, I can select, for example, five different devices that I want to uh, send this uh, ad hoc version of mobile app uh, for testing purposes. So I'll select all five, for example, and click on continue. And I will call this one my photo app ad hoc profile. Okay, and I will click on generate. Uh, done. And now I have ad hoc, I have app store, and I have development profile ready okay 
Uh, now let's add this um, provisioning profile to our Xcode. For that, I will open my Xcode and I will begin with uh, adding my Apple ID first. So for that, I'll go to Xcode and choose Preferences. And under Preferences, I want to choose Accounts. And under Accounts, you will need to add one Apple ID, the, the your Apple uh, Developer ID account. So if you don't have anything added here, click on plus button here and choose Apple ID, add Apple ID. Here you'll need to have your Apple ID um, email address. So mine is type it here and then you'll need to provide your password okay and once you sign in your account will be added i got an, uh, a message that my um, account already exists that's fine okay i'll select an account and then you'll see a list of teams that your account uh, belongs to so if you have uh, only one select the team uh, you are working with right now uh, in my case it's my uh, my name so i will uh, click on view details button uh, here we go that that view details button and then it will list a provision profiles uh, that are set up for your mobile app click on download button to refresh this this list some of the old ones will go away if you if this is not the very first time you're creating provision profiles and the new ones will be downloaded so i'll click on download all and i see that i have ad hoc profile i see that i have app store and development profile all downloaded now i'll click on done and i close it and under info tab project info tab i see that i have two configurations available available to me these are debug configurations and release configurations. And if I switch to build settings, I will see that I have provisioning profiles available for debug and release uh, configurations only. So I need to add one more, which is ad hoc. I'll go back to info tab and then I will uh, click on plus button here and it offers me duplicate debug configuration or release configuration. I will choose to duplicate release configuration. I'll give it a name, uh, ad hoc, I'll call it ad hoc and click enter. Now I have three configurations, debug, release and ad hoc. And I will switch to build. I will also see uh, that provisioning profiles, uh, I have three groups, ad hoc, debug and release. Now, um, um, provisioning profiles are set to automatic and ad hoc and distribution profiles are set to uh, automatically um, this one um, the ad hoc is automatically selected for distribution and uh, which is correct debug is automatically selected for developer which is also correct and this one is um, automatically selected to developer release is distribution which is correct release is for the app store which should be distribution debug is for the de de testing and debugging on our device while we're connected um uh to uh, xcode and ad hoc is when we are distributing our mobile application uh from our website uh for example we let user to download it uh we let testers to download it from our website let's uh switch to targets section and see what we have here uh we also have provision profiles debug and release set to automatic which is correct although i could select one of the provision profiles here i have my photo app ad hoc profile but let it stay automatic and then ad hoc distribution debug and release everything is correct everything is um, configured correctly uh, and now i can uh, switch to um, uh, general tab i want to make sure that uh, team is selected uh, correctly in my case it's my uh, apple account uh, and uh, I also want to check capabilities. So when I switch to capabilities, push notifications uh, need to be turned on. So if it's not turned on for you, turn it on. And um, 
should be should be good now so our uh, provisioning profiles are set up capabilities is uh, for push notifications is turned on and the team is uh, selected so i think provision profiles are correctly set up we can build our project by going to product um, build and there will be um, build is successful no errors and we are good to continue